Hey y'all, I went to TJ Maxx today and I saw a whole bunch of cute Halloween items, so I decided to record them and show you guys. So, if you are interested, then just keep watching. Don't forget to subscribe! Alright y'all, so the first thing I saw were these cute little glass cups with the wooden tops. I think those are super cute and these are all printed with like Hello Kitty. They have some mushrooms. They have all kinds of like Halloween designs. Um, they were very cute. I love this little monster coffee cup. Adorable. And all the cute little Hello Kitty stuff. It is absolutely adorable. But you guys better get out there before these resellers do. Otherwise, you're going to be paying $30 for a Hello Kitty mug. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> um, anyhow, I was just walking through. They had this little stool on clearance. And I noticed that they were marking down stuff like as I was there. So I was going around this corner and there's like three or four employees just like sitting on the floor and stuff like just marking things down and i don't know what i thought this was but it's just a stupid cosmetics bag that was still like 13 dollars, so it was not even on clearance um so anyhow this one employee was so funny she was just talking to herself and she was just like oh no that's not it brenda and she was just making me laugh so i talked with her for a little bit um but i just wanted to share with you some of these clearance finds um that was actually cracked and i think i was commenting on that in the video i was like well this is cracked um but i really really like all the hello kitty stuff and i ended up buying that mug right there i purchased that bad boy for four dollars because it was so cute all right guys, now we are looking at like the larger decor items. And this is a monster. I'm not really sure what kind it is, but it's a very cute. Um, they actually have some turkeys and like some Thanksgiving decor out. I was really digging all the little monsters they have. Um, I also like the pink jack-o'-lanterns. They're so cute. Um, I really wanted to grab those ghosts up there on the tip top. But I really like the selection they have this year. They have quite a bit of stuff. I am a sucker for anything light up. I don't know. I have always loved those little light up villages. But God knows I cannot own that with cats. Because they would be knocking that everywhere. I mean it's bad enough for Christmas. By the time Christmas comes around. My Christmas tree is dang near butt naked because my cats have got all the balls off of it and they busted them all on the floor so yeah last year we had a dude in a tree so <sighs> the things you don't get to have when you have cats like this little light up house right here i thought that was so cute but um like i said before you know my cats would tear it apart so it's like yeah it's super super cute but i can't do it you know what else I like there is all these like wooden tables and stuff like that. I really love those things. They're always like imported from like India or something. Um, I really like those yogi skeletons too. Um, I do have a set of those. I hope I can find them this year. This I absolutely loved. It was very heavy. It was solid wood and it's carved and the, the little um, handle is metal. But it was like $30, so I quickly put that back down because it's super cute. I know a lot of time went into making it, but um, it's a little too steep for me. I really liked those light up ghosts. I'm a sucker for anything light up during the holidays. Um, I enjoy putting up Halloween lights for Halloween. I don't know, any chance to get festive, you know, I'm all for it. They had a whole lot of those um, candy bowls. And they had quite a few of those light-up ghosts, but I liked that one more because it looked like more rustic. But then I was kind of thinking, eh, maybe the eye holes are too big. So I ended up not getting it. It was $7.99, though. I was also looking for um, white pumpkin candles. I couldn't find a single one. 
I'm kind of bummed out. Usually it's like an overabundance of them, but I could not find a single darned one today. So these are the little like signs and knickknacks, I guess. Um, you can put them on tiered trays or whatever, little shelves. Duder, excuse me, sir. Mommy is recording right now. <laughs> Sorry guys, he really wants his temptations. If you hear that, that's him pawing at his treat bag. Um, so let me hurry up and finish. Um, there are all kinds of cute things right now. Um, each store has different stuff though because they get different inventory. Some of it's the same, but you know, if they only have a certain amount, maybe not all stores are going to get it. So I would just check out your local TJ Maxx and see what they have. I thought that little um, skeleton butler was so cute. And this little um, basket was $9.99. And I thought it was adorable. Definitely like all the skulls. I also was liking the little um, the water globes, the snow globes. They had one with floating eyeballs in it. And it was super cute. But the eyeballs were like kind of cheap looking so I didn't really like it um that is a ghost like aroma diffuser so if you're into that that is a $30 ceramic ish pumpkin it, it wasn't really ceramic it was almost like plaster um so yeah but it was it was pretty expensive for what it was um this is like the ending of the decor for Halloween you can see some like lawn and garden is mixed up in there right now um, they had some bath bombs from the corpse bride I know someone just put those there and left them they have these little cute glass acorns from Martha Stewart and I have a question y'all do you remember when Martha Stewart sold things at Kmart because I sure do and I also remember Martha Stewart things being a whole lot cheaper than they are now at the TJ Maxx. But maybe it's just me, or maybe I'm just a cheap woman. But um, I also love these glass pumpkins. They are beautiful. But again, cats. So I can't have nice things. So I will just look at them and show them to you guys, I suppose. And then I'll cheer for you if you get some cute things. They've got wreaths and stuff. I mean, I always enjoy making my own wreaths, so I don't usually buy them anywhere. Um, I had to see this cute little thing. It was another little bucket, but it was like $8. So, I mm, cute, but I like those big wooden black ones better. Um, okay, so this was the Martha Stewart stuff I wanted to show y'all that was marked a whole lot more than I ever remember it being marked at, like, um, Kmart. I don't know. Um... That is a mushroom candle. It is pretty darned cool. But, uh, I don't know, y'all. This is all I found today. There was lots of Hello Kitty. Don't get in a fight over it. It's not worth it. I've seen some crazy TikToks and stuff about that right now. So, let me know if you enjoyed this video, what I can do better, and if you're interested in these kind of things at all. I would be curious to know. I had a whole video planned out today for some Dollar General like um, early deals or not early deals. I'm a dingus. Um, I was <laughs> trying to get the early ad so I could share it with you guys, but I cannot get a hold of it yet. So when I do get a hold of it, you guys will be the first to know. And I truly appreciate you sticking around to listen to me ramble at this point. And I appreciate you lots, so thank you so much, and I'll talk to you later. Bye!